Okay, so the plan today was to get the first half of the motor mounts, or the top half of the motor mounts finished, and uh, went ahead and got my exhaust on in an attempt to figure out my kind of spacing and ran into more issues. So you can see here I got my Frontier, um, not Frontier, my Ranger manifold on, and it fits perfect. The exhaust exits towards the rear. I'm not hitting something here, but my flange is super close to the frame. Like, you can barely see in there, and I gotta have a pipe come off the back side and have a, get bolts inside of each of those, or studs inside of each of those holes. So what I'm gonna try and do is rotate this, what's that, maybe 45 degrees, so the ears are facing this way, and then the other one's kind of down here in this area, so it gives me more clearance. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna try and bring this whole piece up just a hair, and then angle it more towards the back instead of out so have it try and exit straight back and hopefully that'll give me enough space to get the exhaust done later when the time comes so we're just going to get that manifold pulled off and then uh, have some marks on it already we'll make some cuts and, and see if we can't uh, get some better fitment out of it okay so with the manifold off here's the line i have that i want to line this ear up with so rotate it just what's that counterclockwise a little bit and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right around there, keep it pretty straight. And then I'll put the manifold back on the, on the, on the engine. And then I can kind of modify this side here because it'll be two pieces. I can modify this side to get it to fit right where I want it. And then tack it in place, pull the whole thing off, and weld it in from there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get it cut, get this part back on the engine, and kind of show you step by step from there. All right, so we got the manifold cut. And I already got it marked. You can see the line right here is kind of my alignment mark for clocking it. And then since I want to angle it this way, the yellow on the face right there is where I need to grind down. I'm just going to do that and then hopefully get it to fit kind of like so. And after that, go in and on both sides here, instead of a flat cut, you want to make it more of like an angle. So when you put it up with the manifold, you get the V, and it gives you more surface to, to weld against. So just going to go ahead and get the modifications done. Once we, once we get it fit on, I'll show you one more test fit before the V groove and take it from there. All right, so you can get a pretty good idea of how it's going to end up with a lot more space all the way around it. So I just have to go in where it's cut and make that, instead of like a, a, a flat C, make it almost like a V groove. Uh, just because the metal's so thick, it'll make it easier for me to weld it. And uh, should be the exhaust manifold taken care of. And then next week we'll move on to the top half of the mounts. Okay, so got my, I think it's called a chamfer done there. Let's see, a little more flat, a little more V. Got it done on the manifold part there too. So, just gonna get this piece on there. Like so, grab the welder, tack it on in the truck, and then uh, take it out and uh, finish it all up from there. And then that should be the exhaust manifold completed.
All right, got the manifold finished. Got three passes on there. Uh, there's basically one right down the center, and then one offset, and another one offset. So, got it all the way around. On the inside, it actually lined up somewhat decently. And then I filed it down a little bit just to help. So, that'll be definitely be something where we can come back and revisit later if I want more power. Uh, but to be honest, the truck came from the factory with 75, and that motor by itself is rated for 175. So probably, probably still going to be enough of an increase. Okay, got it all installed. Got a lot more clearance, just like we need. Uh, two fingers is ideal, but uh, I'm almost there. The where the bolts are is the most important part, and then on this side where the flange goes, we should have enough space around there. I got some pictures to take to my exhaust guy to make sure before I get too far, I can make sure that's going to work. Uh, but uh, yeah, should be all set for today. Next uh, next week, because I, I only have one day a week to work on it, next week we'll be doing the top half of the motor mounts, uh, hopefully. You know, if it takes a couple of days, then, well, it's going to be a couple of weeks before I upload, so we'll be able to tell how long it's taking. I got that one in there. Got that one in there. It's a really tight fit. I think I'm going to have to trim it down some. Uh, kind of right, maybe that corner right there. See where the light is. Uh, but other than that, it, it fits. Barely, but it fits. So, well, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, like I said, probably be a week, two weeks, and we'll have another update.